What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Modern Dating here. Let's get straight into it. For the guy that I was really good friends with um, and then started dating, this was actually all out of jealousy. So and I'm going to be so honest with you guys. So I be was- honest. Is that a puka shell necklace from seventh grade? Shots fired! Shots fired! Did you get that at the Scholastic Book Fair? Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Sorry. Best friends with him. He liked me. I said, listen, no, we are best friends. Like, I don't want to do that. Of course. Then he, over the summertime, he goes and find, finds himself a girlfriend, comes back to school, she's up in college. Good man. And starts dating her. I yes. got super jealous and annoyed because I'm like, where did my best friend go? Like, Your best friend went to a girl that was going to give him the time and respect that that king deserved. You weren't doing it, so... What one woman won't do, another one will. This isn't cool. Like, I'm your girl, what? No, you're not. Wish that night I got a girl's number. You asked for her number. I got her number, yes. I'm sick right now. This is why I say women grow old, they never grow up, dude. Like, they're mad that a guy moved on that they put in the friend zone. Like, huh? That makes no sense. The story never changes. They neglect good guys and place them in the friend Crazy. zone only to regret their decision and get jealous when he starts seeing another woman. So and stupid. this is when they want to date him. Stupid. Once you're friend zone, you're kind of stuck and you can get out. It's just, it's really hard to, especially like, especially from like a girl perspective. If you friend zone. Good in girl perspective. Do you think we're stupid? Come on. <laughs> A guy, I almost think it's impossible to go the other way. Let me share a story. I've friend zoned a guy and I've never seen him again. And then I've also good for him. been really good friends with the guy and then started dating him. So let me share both stories. For the guy for the guy that I friend zoned, we were friends for such a long time and I knew that he liked me. And I told myself, I was like, you know, it's fun hanging out with him. Like, let's see what happens, kind of give it a go. And we were friends for probably four or five years or something Dang, like that. That's a long time. And I think it was like the first year we were friends, he tried to like be with me essentially. And I was like, let's give it a go. So I was like, fine, why not? We went on a date when I, there were these like beautiful Christmas lights everywhere and he never kissed me. Like I was so annoyed. There was like this beautiful spot to kiss me. And I was like inside, I was like, does this guy like me? Like I thought like the day before he was being- Why does every modern woman Think that it's like some Disney movie. He, we were under like this really cool Christmas tree and he didn't like grab me and kiss me. Maybe he didn't feel like kissing you, honey. Maybe your breath smelled like garlic. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> Maybe you had one too many mozzarella sticks and you had a chive in your tooth. You know what I'm saying? Shots fired! Like maybe he wasn't feeling your vibe. Maybe you were musty. I don't know. All flirty and stuff. And then I'm like, what? and we slept in the same bed too at night. And I'm like, what is going on? And he never kissed me, so I was just like, whatever. Slept in the same bed, bruh. Be honest, man. You better pull a play if you're sleeping in the same sheet with his broad, bro. Come on now. That that moment in time, onward, I never had that idea of liking him romantically because he kind of like ruined that one moment, that one opportunity. And then I was like, that's it. What? I know that sounds really stupid, but in my head, I was yes, like, that was the one shot. Stupid. And it almost felt like being rejected, even though I didn't verbally tell him, like, kiss me. It was just like, if you felt it, then you should have just done it, you know? And if you didn't feel it, then maybe it was just meant to be. So wow. that was the one example. And we were friends for like four or five years. And I basically just told him, like, we shouldn't be friends anymore because it's not fair to him because he really likes me. And I just, I didn't want to do that to him. So we are no longer even in contact. He Good definitely didn't want to mess anything up and was unsure, and I don't understand why she didn't see that. If she felt it, why didn't she initiate it? For real, ladies, what's wrong with y'all initiating? We, we are okay with that. If you want to kiss a man, kiss a man. You're not traditional women, so don't expect us to be traditional men. Are you a virgin? Have you ever had a boyfriend before? You probably are not a virgin, you probably had many boyfriends, so we're not gonna treat you like you're a traditional woman. The origination of wearing a white dress was because a woman was a virgin. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have lost our way. That is not the case anymore. Why should he be traditional? But you aren't. It's not fair. Stupid. But obviously I wish him the best, but it's just, it's not fair to either of us. For the guy that I was really good friends with, um, and then started dating. This was actually all out of jealousy. So and I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. So I was best friends with him. He liked me. I said, listen, no, we are best friends. Like, I don't wanna do that. 
Then he, over the summertime, he goes and find, finds himself a girlfriend, comes back to school. This was like in college. Nice. And starts dating her. I got super jealous and annoyed because I'm like, did. where did my best friend go? Like, <gasps> this isn't cool. Like, I'm your girl. What? I'm your and so then I had to tell him, I'm like, listen, I caught feelings for you, but I don't want to break up your relationship. Turns out he was still in love with me and didn't even like the girl. It was just like a prop. And he ended up dumping her for me. And then we started dating. But then he turned into more of a probably more of an avoidant i would say but he started pulling away and he was just like this is too easy now he just like gave up on the relationship so I <laughs> Damn! Oh, he made you jealous he bagged you and then got bored of you let the king do his thing break up with him and yeah i love it <laughs> story time com she had the opportunity to be his girlfriend but as always wasn't interested and then she got to be second round pick and then she was mad that she was second round pick oh my lord only to get jealous when he started dating another woman i wonder why he was trying to avoid her after they started dating it seems like it wasn't what he expected i mean she's a walking red girl flag respected her boundaries and didn't try to push a kiss on her equals friend zone guy finds a new girl now wants it like bro the modern women logic in this it makes no sense bro Yep, that is why I just cut her off. I don't need any more friends. Bro, this was me. I would always tell women, I don't need any female friends. This is why I have guy friends. I'm only going to be interested in you if we're going to be doing things physically and romantically. I'm not going to just be friends with you, though. That's a waste of time. That's why I have That's why I have guy friends. Like, I never understood that. If you didn't make it obvious that you wanted him to kiss you, he was probably worried that you'd get mad at him. I mean, True. First dude was being respectful. The other just got what he needed and dipped. <laughs> Facts. Bro, factoids. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Formula to get out of the friend zone. Those who are in that position, make sure you pay attention. She saw his value from the moment he was taken. So if you want to get out of the friend zone, get yourself a girlfriend. I mean, facts. This is why I always say women only like men that other women want. This is why when, when people ask me, what is a high value man? I go six foot, six figures, six pack, right? I mean, and that's, this is, this is a stretch, but this is what women want, right? As far as a high value guy, six foot, six inches, six pack, um, six figures and other women want him because if other women don't want you, why is she the only girl that wants you? Women are hypergamous in nature. They want the best of the best. They want the cream of the crop. This is why 10% of men go, ahead, go out and bag 90% of the women. That's why I think, and this is my opinion, take with it uh, what you may, is 10% of the men are responsible for 90% of the trauma amongst the dating market. So all these girls have been ran through by chads, and then they're like, where are all the good men at? Honey, you were shooting out of your league. These guys were never on par with you. They were above you. So therefore, they never wanted to date you. But you think you can date these men when no. Only All you can do is buck these men. Because women have sex with who they want. Men have sex with who they can. It's a big difference. Men sleep with who they can. Women sleep with who they want. It's a big, big difference. But they don't realize that. Like, you ladies are shooting out of your league. Just because a guy will go out there and blast your cheeks doesn't mean that he actually wants to be with you, honey. It's a big difference. Time, big, and I big knew difference. that he liked me. And I told myself, I was like, you know, it's fun hanging out with him. Okay, one second. Uh, fast forward just a tad little sketch here. I think I was like around here. Here we go. To the most and was trying to avoid anything that could ruin the vibe. He didn't want to make any premature move that could make things go left. But she interpreted his lack of initiative as if he rejected her. She should have initiated it and probably it would have worked well. For some reason, the second guy didn't want anything to do with her after they started dating, and this is something she should look into. Why didn't he want to be with her knowing she was the woman he supposedly loved for so long? Modern women want to have guys in their friend zone for validation, and this is why they get mad when those guys show interest in another woman. They don't want to lose their source of free attention. That's, that's why we have to end the simp -edemic. We have to end this simp -edemic, dude. Because men giving these women attention perpetuate their egos and perpetuate this level of narcissism that they have internally. So therefore, if we stop giving them that validation of attention, they will stop acting the way they're acting. But it's like a circular, it's it's like circular right now. It's like girls want attention, simps give it to them. Girls want attention, simps give it to them. And it's like, we have to stop the source of it. We have to stop giving them attention. Stop it. 
Stop simping. Stop getting on only OnlyFans. Stop subbing to these girls. Stop like harding everything on their IG story. Stop liking all their pictures and commenting under it. Just stop it. Stop it. And then women will finally realize that men are the prize and we can get back to where we used to be. Girl's number. You asked for her number. I got her number, yes. I'm sick right now. That's why they say the friend zone is usually where you find your forever man. But you can't wait to... I mean, true, like these women are passing up on really good men because they think that they're, they're you know, worth more. But it's kind of your fault because you friend zoned him. If you like him, what's stopping you? I mean, facts. It's because they think they can do better. They think they can do better, which is why they friend zone. She's going to miss that free attention and validation. Yes, she is. 100%. That sounds about right. Yep. Um, they're they're going to miss that attention and validation when the time comes. And they're going to be like, why am I so sad? What happened to my simps? He went on to a girl that was going to give him the respect he deserves. Because the guy who you placed in the friend zone is trying to go after another woman? You don't want him. So what's the problem? Exactly. This is what most modern women do. They mm -hmm. know those guys want them romantically, but for some reason they want them to be in that friend zone spot forever. But their perspective changes. I call them on deck dudes. You can call them friend zone on deck dudes. If you know any girl, I want you guys to go out and do a social experiment. If you know any girl that has a lot of guy friends, be like, hey, you know what? Let's do a social experiment. Why don't you call up your best guy friend, act drunk, and ask if he will come over and sleep with you? I almost big biggity bet you that this guy will show up or say he will show up and blow her back out. He'll be like, are you serious? Are you sure? He'll ask like four or five times and then he'll be like, all right, I'm on my way. I almost promise you. All these guys are just on deck dudes. They're shining white knights. They're waiting for their chance to step up to the plate and finally get to bust her cheeks. Like these guys are just on deck. It's like in a batting cage, right? They're all in the batting cage waiting. And then they finally get their number called. Number 69, Levi. Oh, it's, it's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> they get up with their little bat and they're like, it's, it's my time to blast her cheeks. Like, that's what these guys really think. Like, bro. If a girl's going to friend zone you, just be like, hey, you know what? I'll friend zone you. Let's just not talk anymore. I don't need any more girlfriends. I, I need more guy friends. It's completely when those guys move on. I think they want guys in their friend zone only to boost their ego. And this is why they get mad when those guys start seeing another woman. Yep. It's like they don't want to lose their source of free validation. Mm -hmm. Some guys don't mind being in the friend zone and playing the long term game, but other guys overdo it which is the case of a guy who has been waiting in that spot for 10 years. Jesus. He has been in the friend zone this long and still thinks it's a good strategy. 10 years? Guys, we need to do better. This guy could have used this time to find himself a girlfriend, someone who is on the same page. Jeebus. But she is also This man's waited a whole decade just to get a, just to get maybe a whiff of some cheeks. Taking him for granted, I bet she won't like it if he starts dating another woman. How long have you been friends? 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. God. Stop! Stupid! Oh my! God. I feel bad for this man. Ten years? He he looks like a short king though. Man, shout out to my short kings. This is why you don't go for girls like that are taller than you. She's not even that bad. I mean, she's not like a baddie. You're like, good lord. Ten going on eleven yeah. years. In that time period, have you never had feelings for each other? No, like he's been just a, such a great friend. Oh no. She hit him with the, eh, he's really just been like, you know, a really good friend. Oh, secondhand embarrassment for this guy. So like, I couldn't like see the other side of it. Could you ever see her being your wife one day? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's a, I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's possible. What? So you wouldn't rule that out? I wouldn't we completely. We never thought about it. We, I'm, Never a hundred percent thought about it. Um, Wait, it's possible, but you've never thought about it, huh? Stupid. Didn't that sound a little dumb? I'm sorry, but like it's guys like this, dude. Get out of the friend zone. Drop this girl like a bad habit and move on. Go for a girl that's actually going to give you the attention and respect that you deserve. Stop wasting your time on this big back Betty here and keep it pushing. I mean, it's possible, but yeah. What? Look at her body language. She knows what he wants. We're friends. How come it's a possibility in your mind, but for you, you're like, I would just never look at him that way. We've been such good friends. I don't want to ruin the friendship. It's always that. We've been such good friends. I just don't want to ruin what we have, you know? Because it's free validation for me and you always want me. God, dude, horrible. How could you ruin a friendship by 
getting closer. Well, you know, like when people take friendships into relationships, they're not meant to be in a relationship. They were always meant to be friends. He just doesn't fit that box? No, I wouldn't say that. He fits He's all not fitting any box. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't fitting no box, buddy boy. <laughs> Zero box <laughs> for this man. Good Lord. Then why not move the relationship further? I never thought about it, honestly. Friend zone has to be the coldest and darkest place a man can find himself. Bro is freezing so bad he is scared to even speak. And here's the thing, dude. You can't lose something you don't have. If you don't have a relationship with her, what's the, like, why are you so skittish to shoot your shot? Shoot your shot. You can't lose something you ain't got. She wants all the benefits of a relationship without having to reciprocate. He takes yeah, her that's out. True. He takes her out. He listens to her, probably does favors like picking her up and helping her move. The day he asks her to cook for him, she'll say without hesitation, you need a girlfriend. The friend zone is not a friend. Oh, so true. He's expected to do boyfriend stuff, but she has zero girlfriend responsibilities. Like he's a victim of the friend zone. When he finds a woman, she'll regret friend zoning him. I mean, let's hope so. But the thing is, he has to go out and find a woman first. I bet he's heard countless stories about men doing her wrong. Oh, she's like, yeah, he blew me up. He blew my back out. And then he came through and he beat my cheeks. And here he goes. She mean, he's like, it's okay, baby. It's okay. I'll be here for you. Know I'm always going to be your rock, baby. Get as much mileage as you need. Be like a NASCAR race, baby. Get all the mileage, but I'm going to be your rock. Stop. Bro, suffering in silence, bro, for real. For 10 years, homie, been sniffing around for weakness like a wolf playing the long game. Most guys are in the exact situation. It's true. Bro, go out there and just date down a little bit. Like, why you got this girl's not even like a 10 out of 10. She's not something like I, I, I wouldn't see her on the street and be like, oh my God, this girl is just God's gift to earth. And I know, I would not say that. A lot of exes will ask you to be friends because they don't want to lose you completely after the breakup. It can be really tempting to say yes because you think that you can transition from friend to being back together, but it usually doesn't work. No, bro. So here's how to get out of it and get back into a better position. It's best to be really direct in your communication. Just tell them that you want to be really authentic and that you have feelings for them still. Because of that, it's really difficult for you to just be their friend because, again, you don't feel like you're being authentic with them. Stupid. Then tell them that you need some space to heal and you don't think you guys should talk that much anymore. Okay. But if they change their mind and actually want to work on the relationship like you do, they can reach out to you. If you fail to do this and stay their friend, they'll probably keep you around until they start dating someone else and then you'll be the first to go. As their friend, you're being a crutch and helping them through the breakup so they don't have to feel the pain of losing you and you have to feel all of the pain. I can't be friends with exes. It's too emotional for I'm me. I'm sorry, but like... Just don't be friends with women. Point blank, period. I wouldn't even be like, hey, I think we should take some space. I'd be like, from the jump, I'm like, hey, I'm not looking for a friend, boo-boo. Are you looking for a friend? If she's like, yeah, I'm just looking for a friend. Cool, check, please. Let's end the date now. I am not trying to be friends with you. Like, I wouldn't say nothing about give me no space. I'd be like, delete my number, never talk to me. We are not friends. Like, since you don't see me any potential and you just want to be friends, uh-uh, dead to me. Move on. Keep it pushing. And But you got to set that line in the sand because when you do that, like, when you say, hey, I'm going to be friends with you, and a girl is like, yeah, I just see you as a friend, you're immediately here. This is the guy, this is the chick. You're immediately below her because now you're fighting for her validation. When, when you want the tables to turn, you got to go whoop. You got to say, hey, I don't want to be friends with you. I'm romantically involved and I want to be more than friends. If she's like, no, then be like, all right, I'm cutting you off. You're then playing on the hierarchy. You're above, she's below. Women are hypergamous, therefore she's gonna wanna shoot up and try to get your attention now. But if you don't set that from the jump, like the, it's gotta be the foundation of any girl you're talking to. Even if you go out on a date, like at the end of the date, you can be like, hey, I'm feeling you. Are you feeling me? If she's like, no, nah, I'm not feeling you, then keep it pushing and be like, all right, cool. It was nice to meet you. I hope you have a great rest of your life, but I'm not looking for any friends. Like you gotta cut that stuff off immediately and girls will respect that and then they'll want you more. But if you're like, you know what? You know, I know you see me as a friend and maybe we can work on this and really get to know each other. No, I wanna get to know you. <laughs> I want to get to know how those cheeks jiggle. That's what I want to get to know. No friends. Guys, if a girl's trying to friend zone you, run. Get out. Scramble. Scramble like an egg. Scramble like an omelet. Get out of there, bro. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. 
And you're not going to get the respect you deserve as a man from a girl that friend zones you. You're going to get the brunt of all the bad things. She's going to go through the breakups. She's going to go through the, all the trauma of other men and you have to hear it. And you're going to have to do boyfriend duties without getting any girlfriend reciprocity. You're, she's not going to re reciprocate anything as far as a girlfriend quality to you. So just keep it pushing, dude. But you got to ask from the jump. Like, hey, I'm feeling you. You feeling me? No? All right, cool. On to the next. Like, and, and Just remember, bro. Just remember this quote. You can't lose something you ain't got. You can't lose it. If you ain't got her, you can't lose her, bro. Simple. Um, I helped a lot of guys out with this in college. They'd be like really friend, like really close buddy, buddy with these girls. And I'd be like, bro, are you ever going to, you know, take her back to the crib and, you know, get down with it? He's like, well, she really just wants to be friends. I'm like, well, then cut her off. Get with a girl that's going to give you that energy. Don't, don't give her energy that she's not reciprocating, bro. Keep it pushed. And these were the guys that usually didn't find a girl until they were 28, 29, 30. And then when they finally did find a girl, it was a girl on their level. And they both were happy. I'm like, bro, you could have done this seven, five, seven, five, five, seven, ten years ago. Why are you shooting up so hard? The girl that you're with should want you more than you want her. Simple as that. Women are hypergamous. Therefore, they need to feel like they picked a winner. If you're a bum, she's going to want to move on to the next. Ah, it's just so simple. It's just, this is stuff I figured out when I was like a teenager. I was like, oh, like... Assholes finish first, nice guys finish last. Okay, well, I'm just going to be mean. And I was mean and it worked. And I was like, well, I'm going to just keep doing this. It's, and now, is it, does it suck? Yeah, I don't like being mean. I don't like being rude. I don't like being like stiff with women and like, like emotionally standoffish. But it works. So what am I going to do? Am I going to get mad at the process? Or am I, am I going to do what gets results? I'm going to do what gets results. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, do you agree with that? Assholes finish first and nice guys finish last? Because that's my entire life experience. That's the way it was. Just saying. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.